It seems to me that the greatest tribute that can be paid to Dr. Jane Philpott through the Casey Award is the way in which she reflects the strongest vision of June Colwood. She reflects the passion, she reflects the social activism, and above all, she reflects the quest for social justice. Well, I, I went to Africa first as a medical student about 25 or more years ago, and uh, I met a guy who was also interested in the same things. I think just being able to, to see what, what life is, is like for people, and we were very inspired by that resiliency that they have. The hospice that I helped start is entirely funded by her initiative. And in the course of three years, she's raised something in the vicinity of two million dollars, which has been going right into the grassroots of Africa to counter the pandemic of HIV and AIDS. And it's an immense contribution. Um, in terms of the Give a Day movement, I, my part was mostly coming up with the idea, which kind of, you know, landed in my brain and I had to give life to it. Before we, we were getting this help, Patients were dying from tuberculosis. I had TB myself um, in 1996, and I'm HIV positive and got completely cured. The TB got completely cured. I still live with HIV. But if I didn't get the drugs, I would be dead, and my children would be orphans, just like my brother's children are orphans, you know, because my brothers died from HIV-related tuberculosis as well. Emily was two and a half when she died. You know, one thing that just strikes me so powerful is what happens when somebody dies and the things that people say in Niger when somebody dies. And I remember this, of course, from when our own child died, but I remember hearing it as well when I would watch other babies um, die. And one of the first things that everybody says around you is be patient. Ihankuri is how they say it in house. They say be patient. I think if, if we had just decided to sort of put Africa behind us, uh, there would have been a sense of, you know, that, you know, what has Emily died for in a sense? And I think uh, Jane's been able to, you know, harness the, the tragedy of that death. I get frustrated with just sitting around trying to, to intellectually understand a problem and I have to do something about it. I want to take action when I see a problem in the world and so I guess that makes me an activist. <laughs> you know, if there's one quality <laughs> in terms of Jane and give a day and care for people, um, it, it's an old-fashioned word, uh, love, uh, but it's a powerful one and, and it's Jane. It's amazing that she has taken this creative idea and transformed it into a miraculous intervention in the lives of people who are struggling for survival. There is a part of me that thinks, how come every Canadian, I mean, what is stopping every Canadian from being able to say, my goodness, one day of the year, could we not give one day of the year uh, on behalf of people that live with HIV every single day of the year and its, and its ramifications in their life. I had TB in 1997 and now it is 2009, which is like 12 years ago. You know, it's nice to be alive.